Ladies and gentlemen, it is just now after five o'clock and at 5.05, we are gonna see the lights that you see behind us underneath the arches of the Market Street Bridge turn to Christmas colors. And at 5.10, you're gonna see an amazing display. It will be done by 5.15 and I mention all that because it's so cold. I've got a couple minutes to say a few things. First of all, you should all know that this year is the 100th anniversary of the Market Street Bridge. So it is very appropriate that we've chosen 100 years since 1916 to come and redo these lights. I am joined today by Mr. Matt Krupp of Lighten Up Harrisburg. Lighten Up Harrisburg is one of our great community initiative groups. They raised $20,000 to contribute for this project and we thank them. We are also joined by representatives from the Efficiency Network and also from Lumen Pulse. Where did our Lumen Pulse gentlemen go? Right there. <clears throat> Lumen Pulse actually uh, designed the, manufactured the lights. What a dramatic setting for a press conference. Isn't this incredible? Lumen Pulse manufactured these lights and although the, the display is going to be bright and wonderful and amazing, it's actually incredibly energy efficient. We're using a lot less electricity than the old lights. And as you will soon see, we have the power to change colors on this bridge. So if we are celebrating St. Patrick's Day, we can go green or breast cancer awareness, we can go pink or you name it. It's gonna add a whole new feature to the downtown and we're absolutely thrilled. The total cost of this project was just over $100,000, but by the time we put in contributions from the Efficiency Network, from uh, the uh, West Side Hammer Electric, who were the ones who were installing it, and from Lighten Up Harrisburg, we got the cost down to under $100,000, and we were able to pay for it with savings elsewhere in the LED project. So it was just Seems like only a year ago today when it was raining and we were under a tent in Mulder Square announcing the beginning of the LED project. Well, today we are essentially announcing the completion of the LED conversion project here by lighting the Market Street Bridge. There's still a few other projects going on, including the transfer of some lights in the downtown from PPL to the city and some wiring projects going on, but the project is otherwise almost entirely complete. So with that, it is now 5.04. So we'll take one question before the lights turn into Christmas colors. Yes. <laughs> this is absolutely freezing, but you know, last year's holiday parade was weather like this and I froze the entire time. So I think it's a good trade. We had fantastic weather for the holiday parade and we're just having to brave the elements for this bridge lighting. Any other questions? I am very proud. We were, we were talking about, I think, the LED lighting conversion project for the city of Harrisburg has really become an example of everything that we can do that is right about government projects. The city of Los Angeles, as I mentioned before, has chosen one of the fixtures that we chose for this project. And our RFP process, the whole process is gonna be duplicated again and again throughout Pennsylvania and throughout other state so we uh, i want to give a special thank you to wayne martin city engineer who is here for shepherding us through this whole project uh it has been a great success the city is brighter the city will be more colorful we promise you in just a few short seconds and uh and there's no question that it makes me proud i think it was a dream uh to be able to do something like this for the bridges in harrisburg but we're able to do it in part because of the dramatic decrease in costs for LED lighting and lighting projects generally. A project like this, uh, which you will see shortly for the Market Street Bridge just a few years ago, might have cost double or, or even triple the amount. But we were able to bring it in, again, under budget or on budget for the whole lighting project in a way which I think will uh, serve for generations to come. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 